Welcome to Body Work. Welcome back. It's Michael Rogers. Welcome to Body Work Boxing. Sources. Errol Spence, Keith Thurman, finalizing junior welterweight fight according to Mike Carpenter of ESPN. Cited at 2.39 p.m. Eastern Standard, Errol Spence and Keith Thurman are finalizing the deal for a PBC on pay-per-view fight that is expected to take place in April, sources told ESPN. Spence, 28-0, 22 KOs, holds three of the four major titles at welterweight, but the matchup will take place at junior welterweight, sources said. WBA President Gilberto Mendoza told ESPN that, a, that he granted Spence a special permit to fight outside the weight class without relinquishing his 147-pound title. He also holds the IBF and WBC belts. Spence will have 60 days worth of fight, Mendoza said, to close a deal for a long-awaited undisputed welterweight championship bout with Terrence Crawford. They were engaged in negotiations last year. If not, Spence must defend his 147-pound title against the winner of the postponed WBA regular title fight between Virgil Ortiz Jr. and Imantis Stanyanis. Spence, 32, could also decide to campaign at 154 pounds moving forward. I think that's a warning shot. The junior middleweight, the junior middleweight division is short on name recognition outside of Jamel Charlo, which I don't really think is true. The undisputed champion who shares a trainer with Spence and Derek James, ESPN's number four pound for pound boxer, Spence hasn't competed since a ninth round TKO victory over your Dennis Ugas in April. Spence fractured Ugas orbitable on his way to adding a third 140 pound title. The bout was Spence's first since the underweight since he underwent surgery to repair a detached retina. It was his second fight since he was involved in a serious car crash that hospitalized him in October 2019. Spence was involved in another accident on December 10th in Dallas area when his SUV was hit head on by an underage, unlicensed driver who ran a red light. Spence later said he suffered a leg injury in a December, December 30th tweet. Spence hinted that he would return to the ring in April. Spence has said time and time again that he would never fight Thurman because the veteran boxer didn't give him a title shot years ago. He reiterated the stance in April when he tweeted, Thurman, not fighting that man. Wouldn't utter my name when he when we was both champs. Spence competed in a 152-pound weight class in the 2012 Olympics and made his pro debut weighing 149 pounds later that year. Before he won his first world title, Spence scored an eight-round stoppage of Chris Van Heerden in 2015 and weighed 156.5 pounds he went on to capture the ibf welterweight championship with an 11 round ko of Brook in 2017 and has made six defenses he's espn's number two boxer at 147 pounds thurman 30 and 1 with 22 knockouts is rated number seven by espn and welterweight the 34 year old from clearwater florida ended a 31 month layoff in february with the unanimous decision victory over mario barrios the bout was Thurman's first since he suffered a split decision loss to Manny Pacquiao in July 2019. Thurman made five successful defenses of his welterweight title, including a unification victory over Danny Garcia in 2017. Thurman also owns a decision win over Sean Porter. Spence also defeated both Garcia and Porter. Thurman is a career-long welterweight, but also competed at 152 in the U.S. Olympic trials. Man! Big fish at 154. Fresh fish on the line. You already know where I stand, man. This man down. I'm going to reframe my thoughts. You know, uh, I kind of think that the boxing world might need that. After the recent events with Imanis Stanianis getting an apodectomy, postponing the Virgil fight. You know, haven't seen Boots against Karen Chudigan. Seeing Speedy and the results of that fight. I think maybe, man, Spence is looking at it like this might be the best opportunity, you know, to get a bag, to fight somebody that everybody respects, a champion that can hold their own weight, and a real threat. If a focus one time, you know, is equivalent to the truth, and one time having a good time. 
anyway those are my initial thoughts man i'm kind of excited about it i'll reserve you know anything else for now we'll wait and see what the tea leaves have to offer thanks for tuning in thanks for all my likes thanks for all the subscriptions don't forget to update your notifications holla at your boy hit the subscribe button if you haven't everybody work boxing but we don't take things for face value we do that body work